After a miserable 2020 and being starved of Marvel Cinematic Universe content since the summer of 2019, it was finally wonderful to see and hear the opening Marvel Studios logo in front of the first Marvel series showing on Disney+. WandaVision has now aired the first two episodes on the streaming service, giving us some long-awaited Marvel content that us fans have been looking forward to for a long time. Thanks for clicking on this video reviewing the first two episodes of WandaVision. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Let's begin. The first episode in particular is so far from what Marvel has done before, setting up Wanda and Vision as a newly married couple in a suburban town in 50s America. It is so out of place from where we last saw both of these characters. Watching the first episode without context may confuse viewers into thinking this is a remake of Bewitched or I Love Lucy or something like that, which the show is referencing and doing a parody of. Especially, episode 1 feels like a sitcom completely unrelated to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The vintage style of the show with its black and white colour, classic aspect ratio and even the opening credits referencing the characters in the cast themselves develop some unease towards the audience. In both episodes it is clear that something is not quite right in this world and that someone from the outside is trying to get hold of Wanda who appears to be trapped in this contained universe. Having the antics of superheroes take part in a typical sitcom from the 50s and 60s era works really well. I don't think it is obviously trying to be metafiction or anything like that, but it enhances the mystery of what is going on in this world. Seeing Vision and Wanda use their powers to, to disguise what is really happening from their neighbours creates a great level of comedic value for the show. It is the second episode where the humour really comes out in the show, in my opinion. I feel the first episode was simply an introduction into the rules of the new world that we have been introduced to, and it is the second episode which got me more invested into the mystery of what this show has to offer. The second episode sees Wanda and Vision taking part in a talent show, originally starting with a magic performance, but with an incident involving chewing gum, Vision goes funny and the two characters end up delivering a comedic performance. This works well in the parameters of the show. These characters haven't been seen as comedic before and I feel the situational comedy setting of the show allows both actors to flex their comedic chops without taking away from the story. In particular, Paul Bettany really delivers comedy really well. This sort of thing wouldn't work in Captain America Civil War but this world they are inhabiting allows it to work so well. Despite plenty of comedy, there is a sense of darkness and dread lurking in the shadows. There's certainly a level of horror iconography in the show, and the mystery of the world that the characters are inhabiting does lend itself to some more insidious actions. In particular, the character in the beekeeping costume added a level of horror, as well as the scene involving one character cutting their hand and red blood being shown to contrast the black and white visuals. Overall, the first two episodes of WandaVision have given me a lot to look forward to and has engaged fans in the mystery unravelling surrounding these beloved characters. I am keen to see what comes next and feel that the context of the future episodes will shed light on what is going on in these first two episodes. For a long time, shows on streaming platforms have released episodes all at once so you can binge watch the entire series. Making us wait for more episodes is taking us back to a more traditional way of engaging with television. And with the show's classic television style, this makes perfect sense. Whilst the first episodes don't provide us with the bombastic action of Avengers Endgame or a large ensemble cast like Guardians of the Galaxy, WandaVision is certainly a unique and exciting project for Marvel to take on, something that wouldn't be accepted by audiences just a few years ago. I can't wait to see what the show has to offer next. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the first two episodes of WandaVision. Please let me know in the comments, give this video a like, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. Thanks for tuning in.